Dear friends, welcome to this overview session on Ready Retina Workbook for BE Certified Energy Auditor Energy Manager Examination. It is a quick workbook for a small preparation. So all of you know that the BE examination has four grades. The book number one, General Experts of Energy Management, and book number two, Energy Efficiency, Thermal Utilities. Book number three, Energy Efficiency, Electrical Utilities. And third one, Energy Performance Assessment of Equipment and Utilities. Out of four, the first three is for uh, common for both energy manager and energy auditors. The fourth one, exclusively for energy manager, energy auditors. If you look at the exam patterns, question patterns, uh, the first three books are common. So the question patterns are like this. There are three sections uh, in the question paper. The section one covers, uh, it provides uh, 50 questions, MCQ types. Section two has uh, 40 marks and uh, short descriptives and mostly problems, numerical problems. Similarly, section three also have a long questions, long descriptive questions, uh, the six into 10 marks, 60 marks. Here also out of his maximum is numerical questions. So the first papers uh, have uh, 150 marks for three hours duration test. And second and third also the 150 marks for three hours duration test. The fourth one is only 100 marks for uh, two hours duration of test. So the fourth book is uh, full of numerical pro problems and questions. If you look at the overall uh, examination, more than 60, 60 to 70 percentages are numerical problems. That means you have to concentrate on uh, uh, the numerical problem solving sessions and the practical knowledge for uh, identifying the solution for a given problem. That's what the more important in the exam preparation. To um, provide a uh, better uh, solution for this better preparation, and uh, NSAVE Academy has prepared the workbook, or oh, mostly the problems solved. And we have prepared three workbooks for uh, paper one, paper two, paper three. If you look at the structure of the uh, workbook, uh, it has uh, five sections. Five sections. One is all formulas given in the book, is sequentially listed, important formulas along with the units and the conversion factors. That is more, more important for the basic formulas you should remember. It's because it is a uh, not an open book examination, it's a closed book examination, or the first uh, three books, three papers. So, the all formulas in one shot, it's very useful for uh, quick reference. And uh, section two covers all the three types. You have a 50 marks in uh, each subject. So, in the first book, there are 11 chapters, each 10 questions are there in the guide books. So, all the 110 uh, objective types are been solved and given in interactive forms in the e learning mode. So that we can practice any number of time and uh, it will give you the right answers. Then the third section is a five mark question that is short numerical and all the uh, numerical problems given in the gate books are solved sequentially chapter wise. And uh, similarly, uh, long numerical questions provided in the gate books are also solved and listed in sequence. So this has been a uh, Third section, fourth sections is a video form. You can listen to the lectures, how it is solved systematically by step-by-step -step approach. The last one is a model test for the paper one. You can, uh, so our answer is given. You can solve yourself and compare the answers for, uh, uh, for uh, comparisons. So like that, uh, it is uh, all the uh, three books. Uh, the workbook is prepared. So it's full of concentrated on uh, numericals problems and importance formulas, etc. So I hope the working engineers, executives uh, uh, can uh, save the time and uh, for uh, quick preparations for uh, qualifying the examination. So thank you very much and uh, uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. So this is from uh, chapter number three, both the thermal and uh, electrical uh, energy fundamentals of the one. So this is a small uh, five mark question. A 10 kilowatt rated motor has the full load efficiency is 85%. Actual input measurement at the particular loading shows 415 volt, 10 amps, and power factors 0.68. 
find out the what are low yield. We want to find out the percentage. So let us start by step by. So this diagram, you will not draw in the exam, but for a practice purposes, you can do for better understanding and quick calculations. Say a motor has an input of electrical energy and output is a mechanical energy. So what is given data as rated data is given, 10 kilowatt is rated kilowatt that is equal to output of the motor. Efficiency also is given. Then uh, also the input side is measured that as it's a given. So input data is given 14 volt, 10 amps, 0.68 power factors. Now what they are asking is percentage loading. So for that you should remember the formula percentage loading is equal to actual input power divided by the rated input power. That is this is a motor, motor input power you have to compare, compare both the numerators and the, and the denominators. So the actual input power can be calculated. So you have measured all those data are given. What is the formula? This formula you should remember. So this is a three-phase motor which is three-phase. So the actual input power uh, root 3 vi cos pi. This formula you should remember. Once if you write the equation, you simply substitute. So all the data are given, voltages, amps given. Then you simply calculate. So this is the answer. This is for input power. Input power is actual input power. Actual input power is 4.88 kV. What is the uh, rated input power? Rated input power, rated, this is rated at 10 kW with respect to output. Right. Now, the same thing with respect to input, how do you find out? This divided by the efficiency. That's why 10 kW divided by 0.8 by efficiency, you will get 11.76 kW. So now you know the input, you just substitute this formula. Right? Percentage loading is equal to actual input, rated input, percentage is part of the input. This is the answer. So, it's straight the way you write the input is root 3 vi cos pi divided by the rated input. One step you can do, you will get the same one. Right? So, no need to do so much diagram on it. It's for explanation purposes. But in exam, you can do this way one by one step by step. Because in the exam, the mark will be given a step. For example, for one mark, two mark, one mark, one mark, like that. 